Thanks for being with us this evening. Breaking news. Traffic was a mess today on I-85 because of a power line that fell into traffic. 7 News' Taylor Farmer has been closely following the incident and is joining us live with the details. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Taylor and Diane, that's right. Duke Energy tells us a piece of their equipment failed, resulting in a live power line falling into traffic on Interstate 85. We're told it happened near exit 56 here behind me. That's the Highway 14 exit just past Pelham Road. Traffic has eased, but as you can see, and of course at this 5 o'clock hour, there is still some heavy backup. Both north and southbound sides of the interstate were briefly closed sometime before noon. The northbound lanes were steadily moving by about 1 p.m. However, southbound lanes continue to move a lot slower. Duke Energy released to us a statement saying in part, quote, we quickly arrived at the scene and worked with law enforcement to safely clear the impact to the roadway. However, traffic was not the only concern. Power was knocked out across much of the area. It makes your day very difficult because you have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. You're looking for a normal day, and then it's upside down. Ballsizer says he used more than 500 pounds of ice to try and keep his food cold, not knowing how long the outage would last. He says while still offering a limited menu, another issue was their payment system being down, telling us almost half of his customers do not carry cash. We can feed you, but we can't feed you the entire menu. Like I have no oven, I have no flat top, I have you know, it's just, it's just limitations. While the power line falling into the interstate was a problem for Duke Energy workers, drivers, nearby residents, and business owners, Ball Sizer says at the end of the day, it's important to keep it in perspective. Be lighthearted, <laughs> laugh at it, because you know, why, why stress out? It's, it's life. And as I have been through it, life is short. Don't sweat over it. Other than power outages and traffic buildup, Highway Patrol tells us there were no injuries. Live in Greenville County, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. Taylor, thanks so much. We will continue to monitor the traffic and bring you updates on air and online at WSPA.com.